Pittsburghers think of Philadelphia, they probably think of this place first and its hockey team and its less than friendly fan base. The fact is, this city had its sporting reputation set four decades ago at Old Franklin Field when the fans booed Santa Claus? Yes, this really happened. The date was December 15, 1968. A gentleman named Frank Olivo was pulled out of the crowd that day to be a substitute Santa at halftime. When he went to the field, surrounded by cheerleaders and more than a foot of snow, he was pelted by snowballs and booed mercilessly. The city has never shaken the tag. Now, the Eagles have become a winning team, of course, including this most recent season, but their next Super Bowl championship will be their first. I spoke with my friends and longtime writers here in the Philadelphia area, Tim Panaccio and Jay Greenberg, to get their perspective on the Philadelphia fan back when they were snowballing Santa and today. We're in a period in Philadelphia where the fans are probably, I say this is about as bad as, it, as it's gotten, and maybe to the droughts of the, uh, uh, maybe the early early 90s, where people are just so upset because they look at what's about to happen in the next couple years. The Phillies said they won't be competitive to at least 2016, right. 2017, more like 2017. They hung on to an old group too long. Yep. Right. The Sixers, well, the Sixers, yeah, the Sixers are, are, are the tanking Sixers. another season. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going to happen with them. And the interesting thing about the Flyer fans, well, most of the people here weren't around for the Lindros era. Yeah. You know, they had a hard, hard time appreciating, you know, the, the hockey that was here in the 1990s under Eric Lindros. And now all they see is a Flyers team that is unprepared to play right now. It's going to be a couple of years. It's not going to work next year, too, because they're up against the cap. They've got a lot of young players. When you combine all this to teams that are going to lose for the next several years, the Philly fans right now are probably at their worst possible stage. They've got venom coming from them. They're angry. They're frustrated because they don't see that light at the end of the tunnel. And I can, I, I can understand that. They are very, very emotional, and they're troubled. I mean, you can't troubled. live in this city without being troubled. You know, you haven't been that many championships, you know, and that, and that only adds one. The, the anxiety from one sport only adds to the others, of course. You know, the legendary stories, of course, of booing Santa Claus. Although, whenever I, whenever I would make a reference to that, I get some angry letter from somebody saying he showed up drunk. He deserved. He deserved it. <laughs> uh, it's, um, you know, when I shake my head sometimes. Is I mean, the, for all the Flyers' problems this year. They have the fifth best power play, and at home, they're the second best power play. But if they don't score the first minute, a second unit comes on, they are booing. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think some people come to hockey games just to boo the power play. But don't think for a second that things have changed. They boo Santa in the new place, too, believe me. They'd boo him over across the parking lot, too, over where the Phillies play. And you'd better believe they would do it here.